Check blood pressure. Your elderly blood pressure tells you how much work their heart is doing to pump blood through their arteries. It is a vital sign of the body. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension in medical terms, can be harmful to the health of the elderly in a variety of ways. It can harm their vital organs such as their heart, kidneys and brain over time. That is why it is critical to monitor elderly people's blood pressure and take steps to manage it before it causes problems. Two different readings are used to calculate blood pressure. They mean as follows. Systolic blood pressure. The first reading is referred to as your systolic pressure. It is the first or most important number in a reading. The pressure inside your arteries when your heart contracts to pump blood is measured as systolic pressure. Diastolic blood pressure. The second reading is your diastolic blood pressure. It is the second or lowest number. Diastolic pressure is the pressure inside your arteries when your heart slows down between beats. A normal blood pressure is less than 120 by 80 mmHg. Automatic blood pressure machines are simple to operate. These blood pressure cuffs include a digital monitor that displays the elderly blood pressure reading on a screen. For at-home use, an automated upper arm blood pressure monitor is recommended. You should also keep a blood pressure log in a notebook. This can be useful when taking your elderly to the doctor. How to use an automated blood pressure machine? Make sure the elderly person is relaxed before taking their blood pressure. Please ask them to place their arms straight, palm up, on a level surface such as a table. Avoid smoking, drinking or exercising 30 minutes before taking blood pressure. Take elderly blood pressure at various times of the day and keep track of when each blood pressure measurement is taken. Rest for 3 to 5 minutes before taking blood pressure, plus a few minutes more if the elder has recently been very active. Take at least two readings each time to ensure accuracy. The readings should be within a few numbers of one another. Before pressing the start button, pause for a moment. When you press it, the cuff inflates and then deflates to give you elderly reading. The panel will display their blood pressure reading along with pulse rate. Keep the cuff and the device in place. Always inspect the cuff for damage and replace batteries on a regular basis. Bring your own at-home monitor to your doctor's office at least once a year to be calibrated and checked for proper operation. Check temperature, pulse, oxygen saturation.